four as his plus one. Oh my god. And she was one of the options and the question. And she got married nine times out of the out of the six options she was like, Holy shit. She got married the most. Um Larry King got married seven. Uh Elizabeth Taylor was married eight times. And of course six if you can count King Henry Lee. Divorce me had a die, divorce me had a survive six. Without any doubt in my mind, it is not. Without any doubt. your input from him but let me just lay down the situation here okay you're currently sitting at a quarter of a million dollars if you go for this question and you get it wrong you will lose two hundred thousand dollars and drop all the way down to fifty thousand but if you get this right you will double to five hundred thousand dollars and we will be seeing a million dollar question. You still have a 50-50 in case you need it. Well, that Pat, said, what do you uh, think? Pat does trivia stuff. He I knows have, what he's I doing. So, judging. Based on his reaction, being so excited about this question, I am gonna risk it and say D9 final answer. Alright. You're trusting him? <sighs> oh man. You know, at the end of the day, I gotta say this. I'm so glad that I decided to provide my hosting duties for this because it's not a good nope. experience is it <laughs> uh, no it, it, well yes and no yes because i get to i get to keep it as suspenseful as possible at this point but no because it, there's so much tension <laughs> that kind of tension you're causing yeah, yeah. Me and Jose. Yeah, I, I, get, I, get, I get to experience this firsthand, but. Pat was 100% confident that Josh Agabor got married nine times. Indeed, she was a famous actress. And if I recall correctly, I think she kept diamonds from her. She kept all the diamond rings from her marriages. Earthy. One interesting woman. This is right. You're going up to half a million. You're going for the million. But if this is wrong, you're losing 200 grand. Oh, man. Earthy. Zsa Zsa Gabor got married. Nine times! <laughs> you are right! Holy shit! Right. Five hundred thousand dollars! Woohoo! Thanks, Pat. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Dude, 226. It's 226 a.m. and we're already experiencing a million dollar question. I what get, I get to wow, suffer. Pat. <laughs> Pat, congratulations, man. Very, a, very <laughs> exceptional. Very <laughs> exceptional <laughs> use of the plus one there, Earthy. Oh, but. Wow. Go get him. Go get him, Earthy. Well, Earthy, here we are. I didn't think we'd be able to get to this point, but here we are now. You are sitting at $500,000. This next question is worth $1 million. If you go for it and get it right, you're a millionaire. Get it wrong? 
you'll lose four hundred and fifty thousand dollars and you have what could be absolutely a crucial lifeline here the 50 50. earthy are you ready ready as they'll ever be audience are you ready I'm the only audience on the room. I am definitely not ready, but ready at the same time. <laughs> oh, that doesn't make sense. Okay. Earthy, I wish you the best of luck. Let's play! Good. Complete silence in our studio audience. Earthy, here is the one million dollar question. Which of the following countries was not visited by Eva and Juan Perón during their famous rainbow tour of the 1940s? Switzerland. Italy, France, or Great Britain. One of those is worth one million dollars. Wow. I've heard of the Rainbow Tour, but I don't know, don't fully know all the countries. So just to play it safe, because I don't want to mention my answers, because I know there's a button on the control booth that you can set things on so i'm gonna use my 50 50 right now final answer now again keep in mind the 50 50 is 100 percent random hopefully there is no no we're being serious it is legitimately random so here we go computer let's take away two of those random wrong answers leave him with the right answer and the one remaining wrong answer please you're left with italy and Great Britain. Again, one of those is worth one million dollars. The other will drop you all the way back down to fifty thousand dollars. Is it bad that I think I might know what the answer could be? Because when you think about it, I know they visited Italy once, I believe. Um, I didn't know about the other country. I know they visited Italy, but was it for the tour? Uh... Oh God, I'd go back down to 50 if I'm wrong. Question is, how, how confident are you willing to go for it? If you want to do it, that is. I'm gonna be honest, the only country I know was Italy on the board, and then I saw Switzerland, it was like, uh, maybe, but I didn't know the other two at all. Kinda happy the other choices are on there. Thank you, computer. Uh... It's so worth the gamble, though. It's entirely up to you. Now, I will mention, you are out of lifeline, so... You can now walk away with the $500,000. That option's now open. But of course, there is the risk that comes with going for it. Right. Um, I would hate to leave not knowing that I am gonna feel like an idiot if I walk away. But it's worth a shot. I'm happy I've been able to come on. And um, I'm going to assume that that Italy was a part of the Rainbow Tour, but I don't fully feel confident with it. Because I'm, I'm pretty sure Great Ben might have been one, but I'm just going to trust my gut like I always did and assume that Italy was part of the tour when they visited. And since the question is asking not visited, um, I'm gonna say that it's D, Great Bitten. Okay, 
So, you're gonna play it. So, again, this is for $1 million. Oh, you would lose $450,000 if you're wrong. Oh God, you're killing me, Jose. <laughs> It's, it's my job. Uh, it's my job. That's just part of what I do. It's a lot of money. It is a lot, but Earthy, I've got to ask you one more time. As the, as the great Regis Philbin once said, your back's against the wall. You can't go any further than this. For the last time tonight, you're going to hear me say, is that your final answer? Um... Oh, I'm gonna hit I'm wrong. Uh, oh god, the music just stopped. Oh, oh god. <laughs> uh, Don't worry about it. Final answer. He's going for it. Alright, Earthy. No matter what happens, you have been a great contestant. It has been an honor hosting this particular version of Millionaire with you as the contestant because you've taken some very crazy risks that have paid off. And tonight we're hoping that this is another one. The question again, which of the following countries was not visited by Ava and Juan Beron during their famous rainbow tour of the 1940s? Used the 50-50 and was between Italy and Great Britain. You went for Great Britain. If this is right, you are a millionaire. If it's not, We'll all be heartbroken here and you'll lose four hundred and fifty thousand dollars. You could have walked away with the five hundred thousand, chose to play it out. Oh my god. Earthy. You just won a million dollars! Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. You have won one oh my god. million dollars! Holy fuck. Oh my god, I can't believe it. Great! Holy is shit. is correct! Oh my god. Is this real? Oh my god. It is. It is real, Earthy. Congratulations, sir. You are a millionaire! Oh shit. Oh, I can't oh. see. Oh my god. Earthy, my god, another risk that paid off. You have won one million dollars. My god, there it yes. is. Feast your eyes on that money ladder, ladies and gentlemen. He has done it. Earthy, my friend, how are you feeling right now, man? I feel so relieved that I didn't walk away. <laughs> oh, my God. Wow. Uh, what a game. What a run. Capped off with a million-dollar win. Hell, yeah. Folks, you can't script this. He went for it. He was He was leaning strongly toward it. It paid off. And Earthy, I know, I know this is just the Harrison set, but you know what? To hell with it. I'm going to write the check anyway. Perfect. I am writing you a check right now for $1 million paid to Earthy the Gamer here. Give it up, everybody. Good job. Yay. Good job. Thank you. Wow. So that just happened. Uh, <laughs> that was something. Yeah, that was something else. But that horn does mean that we are officially out of time for tonight. Congratulations to Earthy again for becoming our newest millionaire here. And, and wow. 
I don't know what else to say, man. But, folks, thanks for joining us here on our special community edition of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Uh, on behalf of all of us here at GSC, I'm Jose Cazares, your guest host for tonight. Thanks for joining us. Uh, I need to take some deep breaths. I'm out of here. Good night, everyone. Hold on to your seatbelt. Yeah, right.